As smartphones become a mesh of glass, metal and a bunch of fiddly parts, we thought we'd take a trip down memory lane and revisit the granddaddy of the smartphone. Introducing the Nokia 3410. Hey, what's up everybody, it's Nirav. And the other day I opened my safe and I found this phone in pristine condition, having only been used for a few days before I put it in the safe 13 years ago. How does the flagship phone of 2002 stand up in today's world? Let's take a look in this special hands-on. Let's kick things off with the display, and it's a sign that this phone was made in 2002 that there's no official classification for just how big it measures. That being said, the monochrome display supports six lines of text and has a resolution of 96 by 65 pixels, which might seem low compared to today, but was impressive for a phone from this era. Beneath the display we have this iconic T9 keyboard that lights up in yellow just like the display itself. The keys themselves are quite easy to press, but they do take a lot of getting used to compared to the touchscreens that have become so common today. Think back to mobile phones of this era and there's a common misconception that they were heavy and also quite thick. But what is quite surprising is that while the Nokia 3410 is certainly quite thick, it's definitely light compared to today's flagships. At a weight of 114 grams, it's lighter than almost all smartphones of today's era, except for something like the Vivo Air LTE, which weighs under 100 grams. The word brick, though, is definitely apt, as at 22.5 millimeters thick, it's almost the same thickness as the Galaxy Note 5, Xperia Z5, and the Nexus 6P combined. Moving to the back and phones of this era had no cameras or speakers on the back. Instead, we had removable express on covers that allowed you to customize the design of your phone. Taking this back off, we've got a removable 825 milliamp hour battery that lasts for a lot less time than current handsets do. Now, look at the SIM cards from that era compared to the SIM cards used in current handsets and you can see just how much technology has changed. The Nokia 3410 was definitely a firm favorite of mine in the past, but looking back on it now compared to modern smartphones, there's probably only one feature that I'd like to have in all its glory. I am, of course, talking about what made Nokia famous, Snake 2. So there you have it guys, a quick throwback to an icon of the past, the Nokia 3410. And 13 years later, it's working in all its glory. Thanks for watching and let us know what you think of this throwback and the 3410 in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up if you like this video and hey, stay tuned to Android Authority because we are your source for all things Android. Until next time.